Good day grade 10s, welcome to our next lesson in Euclidean Geometry. Today we're going to be talking about the square. Now the square is a very special form of a parallelogram. There are two ways we can define the square. We can either say square is a rectangle that has with all four sides equal in length. In other words, it's a squished rectangle. Okay, it's only, it has exactly the same properties as a rectangle, except it has all four sides equal in length. Or we could say that it is a square is a rhombus with all four interior angles equal to 90 degrees. So what they've taken the root down is, is they've taken the rhombus and they've straightened it up. Okay, so that is your square. Now there are certain properties and again, it because it is a very special form of both the parallelogram, the rectangle and the rhombus, it's got all those properties plus it's got its own and you need to learn these. Right, so let's go through them. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So we know that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Right, next. Both pairs of opposite sides are equal in length. One, two, three, four. So these are equal and these are equal. Both pairs of opposite angles are equal. Both diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. We proved this when we said that it was like a rhombus. So when you've got all four sides equal, the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. The diagonals bisect the angles at the end. Again, for the rhombus, if you've got all four sides equal, this angle here equals that angle, and that angle there equals that angle, and this angle equals this angle, which equals these two. Okay, so remember we proved that using congruency. Okay, right, next. This is new. All interior angles on 90 degrees. All interior angles on 90 degrees and finally the diagonals are equal in length. The diagonals are equal in length and we don't have to do it because it's not in the curriculum but just to prove to say to you that the way you'd prove this is you would take this triangle here and that triangle there. In other words, before we were taking the little triangles, now you would take one of the big triangles, the half a triangle, half a square, and the other half of the square, and we'd prove they're congruent. And since they're congruent, we therefore can say, okay, fine, well, we, since we know they're congruent, we can say that, oh, this angle equals that angle, etc., etc. So you could get it very easily. So all in, but it's not in the curriculum, so I'm not showing you. Next year, all interior angles equal 90 degrees and the diagonals are equal in length. So grade tens, these are all the properties of the square that you have to learn. It's easier to learn these properties if you think of them. You first learn the parallelogram, then you build on it to the rectangle, then to the rhombus, then to the and then to the square because that makes it much easier. And grade tens, that's it on the square. Please go learn, learn, learn. Have a lovely day.